these are capacitors. What's the basic idea for a capacitor? It is just two metal plates, charge one positively, the other one negatively, and you have an electric field that goes between them. And you can store energy in the charge on the plates. Alternatively, you can think about the energy being stored in the electric field between the plates. Uh, different forms of, um, of capacitors. The, this is a cylindrical shaped capacitor. Here are the two leads, uh, one that leads to, to one conductor and the other one to the other. And the guts of uh, these types of cylindrical capacitors, uh, this one's been cut open. And here's one of the leads. I'm not sure where the other one comes in. But um, you make a sandwich in order to increase the area of the capacitor, you want to get as much area in the, in the plates as possible in order to store as much charge as possible. So what they do with these is it's a, it's a sandwich of layers of a conductor. Here's a conductor. And here's an insulating layer to separate the conducting layers. And then here's another conducting layer, etc. And so in a very small space, if you want to fit this in, into your computer um, box, you can fit a lot of area and store a lot of charge in these cylindrical capacitors. Here's a little bigger one. This one, um, I think I saw, was a 100 microfarad capacitor. Um, these are smaller capacitors. Um, this one's uh, cut open, and you can see the metal layer here, maybe possibly from the camera. And you need two metal plates. It's difficult to see both of them, but metal plates separated by an, by an insulator. Uh, this is uh, what's known as a variable capacitor. In this position, so there's a knob that helps you determine how much capacitance you have. In this particular position, these plates, which hold, say, a positive charge, are not overlapping with these other plates here that have negative charge. Here they're partially overlapping, and here they're fully overlapping. And um, so here you get the maximum possible capacitance, and here you get zero capacitance. That's a variable capacitor. These are in your computer. Every piece of electronic equipment that, um, that you have, you, if you break open the box, you'll find capacitors. Um, they're either li like this, or the capacitors can also be built into chips. Uh, millions of capacitors inside of the, of the chip that controls your computer or your, your iPad. That's capacitors.